Hello everyone and welcome to Gilbro's Gaming Channel. I'm the Dude and we're about to have a look at how to install Reforged Eden onto your G Portal server. Now it's trying it's hard to find exactly how to do things online, so I figured I've I've figured out how to do it, so I thought I'd share it in as quick as I can. So go to the Steam workshop, guys, and you're gonna be looking for this. So most subscribed Reforged Eden. Get on Reforged Eden, subscribe to it, and it'll start downloading what you need. To find what you need, I'll just move this out. Ah. Move that out of the way. Don't go there. Right, you can see all my games in the background. Yeah. All right, so to find what you need, you need to be going into your drive, Steam library, Steam apps, workshop content and I'm pretty sure mine's in here but you'll have to see where you've saved it to um, but you're looking for this file here 255035495 I believe that's the file however I've got another one here I've copied that I renamed it reforged so I know what it is and where it is so I can um, move it around adding it to my server as I want. So let's put that in somewhere, copy this, rename it, and put it somewhere you're not going to forget where it is. Right? So then, you have everything you need. Let's just go to our G Portal server. Let me bring this over. <laughs> Got it all up. So I rented a server from G Portal because Nitrado, the server I had previously, it was difficult. Couldn't do it. It was very hard. The cool thing about G Portal is they actually have this, which is if you, how do I do it more or less? Advanced server settings. So if you want to get your own scenario on, which is the Reforged, you follow this guide. So you need an FTP connection with your server. So we need FileZilla. FileZilla works fine. It's a free download. And what you want to be doing to, to link it is um, you find your server. So you see all this information here. So on your access data, your host name. Hang on, let me pull up FileZilla. Ah. In the top here, this is how you find your server, okay? So you would copy and paste that all into here. So host name, copy, FileZilla, paste that into there the port, copy, paste that into there, the username, copy, paste that into there, and then the password, paste that into there. Okay, so then we connect, and then okay, and this is your server. Okay, so we bring up the help again, it's going to tell you what you got to do. So what you need to do is switch it to binary mode. So you go up to transfer on FileZilla. Transfer type. And you've got auto, ASC2, or binary. So make sure you put it onto binary first, okay? And then, let's have a look. I'll walk you through it. Oh my goodness, get out of the way. So binary, then you've got to go to the config ID content scenario. So it even says on the right side. So look in here. Content. Scenarios. Okay. So as you can see, my file is already in here. This is where you need to get it. So you find on the left hand side, this is your computer. You find your file, which would be this one. And you just right click it and upload. But obviously... Make sure you get it into this folder here. So just push on this, these little dots and then right click upload. And that'll take a little bit of time. And then once that is done, after uploading, you want to upload and obviously change its name, which we've done that already. Um, you go back to the website interface on my servers. So we go to here and my servers, which is of this one. And I think you go on to the basic You've got to make sure you restart your thing, obviously. But if you go down the list on the basic settings, 
you can see the custom scenario and it's got a drop down menu here and your scenario reforged should come in here so as soon as you've done that you want to save everything you've changed which will be that and if you want passwords name of the server and all that jazz save it and then restart it um, so there we go choose your Imperium basic settings on the left hand scroll down custom scenario change it and then save and restart your server and that is it that is done um, and you'll be able to connect using your IP address through Imperion and you'll have the, the the missions up and running guys I hope that helps some people it you know I was looking for it for a while but I know this probably work on some of the other servers out there but G portal has worked for me Natrado does not all right guys I'll leave that here thanks for watching if you have enjoyed it please pop a like on it if it's helped you out subscribe if you want daily gaming videos and I'll see you on the next one guys take care the dude is out